The sweet flavor of Coca-Cola has been tantalizing American tongues for decades. However, recently, consumers have been cracking open an alternative version of the soft drink, the Mexican Coke. Beneath the hype, what's really going on with Mexican Coke? Here's everything bubbling inside that glass bottle. The difference between a Mexican Coke and its traditional counterpart is visually apparent on the bottle. But it's not just the packaging that distinguishes the two. While they are both made with the classic Coca-Cola formula, there's a vital difference in the ingredients list. The core recipe of carbonated water, a sweetener, caramel color, caffeine, and the secret natural flavor ingredients is the same in both cases. The sweetener is where the recipes diverge. Traditional Coke is made with high fructose corn syrup. In Mexico, this is swapped out for cane sugar. There also may be a slight difference in the formula, as the Coke's secret ingredients are slightly different in other countries. But this difference is rarely disclosed by the company, according to Serious Eats. Many consumers claim that the Mexican version made with real cane sugar is tastier. This is possibly due to a slightly less intense sweetness. According to Live Science, some studies claim high fructose corn syrup is up to 1.5 times sweeter than plain old sugar. Others, according to the New York Times, believe soda sweetened with real cane sugar is more natural, pure, less harsh, and possibly healthier. Except Coca-Cola wouldn't agree with those takes. A representative from Coca-Cola told Consumerist, There's no perceptible taste difference. Whether sweetened with high fructose corn syrup or sugar, a Coke is a Coke, and both are the real thing. One reason many Americans crave the cane sugar of Mexican Coke is that they believe it's healthier than the high fructose corn syrup used to sweeten American Coca-Cola. Chemically, the two sweeteners both contain a combination of glucose and fructose and are broken down by your body in almost the same exact way. Culturally, high fructose corn syrup has been widely criticized and shunned in the US. This has led many consumers to purchase foods and drinks made without it, under the assumption that anything that doesn't have it on the ingredient list is more natural. Natural. According to Live Science, the syrup is labeled as chemical, unhealthy, and toxic in the minds of many consumers, which is even leading them to rebrand it as corn sugar. The widespread bias against corn syrup is not based in fact. Leading health writer and columnist at the New York Times, Jane Brody, asserts that there is no scientific reason high fructose corn syrup is more unhealthy than any other sweetener, with similar calories per gram and chemical composition across the board. Michael Jacobson, of the Center for Science in the Public Interest, told the New York Times, It's an urban myth that high fructose corn syrup has a special toxicity. Jacobson believes if sugar was used instead of corn syrup in all of our food, there would be no difference in national health. So while Mexican Coke is not actually healthier than Coke, the consumer's perception against corn syrup will continue to inform their soda choices. Another reason people reach for Mexican Coke is the appealing glass bottle, which is nostalgic in its aesthetic. Drinking ice-cold soda out of the classic bottle creates an undeniable experience that elevates the taste and feel of the drink. The classic bottle shape as we know it was not the original design. According to the Coca-Cola company, the contoured bottle design was created in 1915 after typical bottle shapes were mimicked by other soft drink producers, hoping to create a long-lasting national brand identity identity that consumers would connect with for years to come. The company asked for a bottle design that would be so distinct that you would recognize it by feel in the dark or lying broken on the ground. The winning design copied the elongated shape and ribbed texture of a cocoa bean. The bottle was trademarked in 1961, an unusual move for product packaging, but one that made sense for the distinct bottle. The bottle is now called the Contour Bottle after a 1925 French magazine article that used the phrase. The glass bottle is not used for classic American Coke as often, as cans and plastic bottles have become the norm. According to Refinery29, a very similar shape is still used by Mexican bottling plants, and so it lives on in every case of Mexican Coke. Undoubtedly, the flair of the glass contour bottle adds to the appeal of Mexican Coke for many American consumers.
According to Smithsonian Magazine, one reason for the discrepancy in ingredients is a simmering trade war between the United States and Mexico. The Mexican soda industry has always preferred sugar in its beverages because it aids the country's sugar industry. In 1997, Mexico passed a tariff on high fructose corn syrup to prop up the sugar industry because of the competition posed by corn syrup. The United States, which exports large amounts of corn syrup, did not take kindly to the tariff. They brought the case to the World Trade Organization, WTO, which ruled in favor of the U.S. Five years later, Mexico tried again to make corn syrup prohibitively expensive. Again, the United States went to the WTO, and again, the WTO ruled in favor of the United States. Even after these legal setbacks, Mexico appears to be doing something right to keep high fructose corn syrup out of their soda industry, because Mexican Coke, which is exported to the United States, continues to be made with cane sugar. Hey Bruce, you don't mind if I just take this last Coke, do you? Thanks, bye! Just as Coca-Cola has had a huge impact on American life, it has also greatly affected Mexican culture and politics. The delicious Mexican Coke so many Americans enjoy has had far-reaching effects on the country. The Coca-Cola company marketed very strongly in the country starting in the 1970s by putting out national advertisements, sponsoring large sporting events like the Mexico City Olympics, and incentivizing small business owners to exclusively sell Coke. The popularity of the soda skyrocketed and became cemented as a Mexican staple. Vicente Fox, formerly of Coca-Cola Mexico, was elected the president of the country in 2000. According to Business Insider, protecting big business, especially Coca-Cola, informed many of his actions during his term. The New York Times reported on the way Coca-Cola bottling plants affect the communities they are located in, from using a ton of water that would otherwise be available to citizens to generating a unique following that uses Coke in medicine and religious practice. The Guardian explores the high soda consumption rates in Mexico and Coke's role in the country's obesity and diabetes struggles. Of course, a huge corporation that infiltrates a national identity will have side effects. These effects are important to consider when reaching for a Mexican Coke. Check out one of our newest videos right here, plus even more matched videos about all your favorite restaurant chains are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.